Okay, let's see. Let me actually see who do I have here. Uh, about the same, really. Hmm. That means I can play as Luffy again. <laughs> okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, back here. Children, don't seem the LA like. Welcome back to One Piece Pirate Warriors, and yeah, we're at the next part of our journey. Well, the next leg of our journey. And I think near towards the end of this chapter, I'm assuming. I think there are multiple chapters that are split up into, like, specific, you know, arcs from the series. All of this was in the East Blue only. You can only imagine how the Grand Line is going to treat us. But I'm assuming. It's been a while since I've, like, you know, looked up at the chapters and seen what they could do. So, the next part, The Legend Begins, we're going to Log Log Town, I believe it's pronounced. It was translated to Rogue Town for, or Rogue Town in the uh, one of the dubs. I think it was the four kids one, but it's called Log Town, the place of the beginning and the end, apparently, or at least that's what it's somewhat called. Uh, you may be wondering what does that mean? Well, this is the place where Ro uh, you know Gold Rogers was born, and who was executed at. This was the place he died. Kind of ironic, but eh, it kind of makes sense. So that's where we're going. We're going to be facing off against a familiar foe of sorts. A few hints as to who do you think it could be. So anyway, let's hurry up and get to it. And since I've been such a good person and showing off Zoro, Usopp, and Sanji, I did play as Zoro, right? I'm going to be playing as Luffy just because I want to. Let's see, any coins I can use, should or should I use? Um, nope. Okay, just checking. Let's go. I'm twice the recommended level I should be, but in all honesty, I don't care. I just really want to play this game. It's always fun to play, honestly, but, you know, it, it, it's something I need to record myself doing, like certain things. And hopefully you guys don't mind the other episodes where it's not really me talking at all. It's just general me playing. Uh, hopefully I edit it enough to where it's okay to watch, I think at least. <laughs> I like how technically she's our fifth member, even though she joined Luffy like sort of like towards the third member of the crew. But you know, technically she wasn't officially a member, so it, it it's, it's still interesting to count her as that. Let's see. Well, Luffy's bounty was posted at 3 million, Barry. Yeah, that was the highest number for the East Blue at the time. Uh, I do want to mention, though, um, and, and yeah, that definitely should tell you how high the bounties get later on in the series. <laughs> By the way, bounties aren't really like a power level thing, even though they technically are, you know, a decent indication of who's really pretty tough. No, no, no. Bounties themselves aren't, a, you know, an indicator of how strong a person is. Like, a person can have a pretty high or low bounty, but that's only because depending on how much the Marines know about what they do. For example, Luffy. He was at least stated to have beaten Buggy... Don Creed and Arlong, but you notice that, you know, Kuro isn't on that listing. That's because, you know, the whole Syrup Village thing wasn't known by the Marines. Nobody knows that, you know, Kuro, except for the Straw Hats, and a couple of members of Syrup Village, you know, Onion, Carrot, and Pepper, they own, and, you know, uh, Kairi, you know, Usopp's friend, all they they know that Kuro is alive, but no other Marines or you know official Marine uh, individuals know that he's alive. So they didn't know he beat. Uh, so they don't know Luffy beat Kuro, which I'm thinking would have added a little bit more to his bounty at first, but you know maybe just a few more. So anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, right, right, right. So. That's why, like, his bounty's so high. He, they, they knew, like, oh yeah, he defeated uh, Arlong, he defeated Don Krieg, he defeated Buggy, and the previous Marine that he beat up because he was in affiliation with Arlong, uh, you know, complained to the Marines that, oh yeah, you need to put a bounty on this guy. That's why. 
Uh, that's why uh, Luffy's bounty became so high. It's supposed to be a deterrent of sorts that'd be like, okay, we're gonna send his bounty pretty high just to get people to go, okay, let's actually take this guy down. You know, but uh, also because a slight, like, hindrance of, like, we don't want him to get too big. We don't want to, like, have it, like, where people, like, oh, you're like, uh, oh, no, he actually gets a big head from this. We want to cut this bud uh, off before it really develops into a bad, bad, like, you know, tree. Like, before it grows any further. Eh, well, too bad. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, uh, you know, bounties in general in One Piece aren't an indication of a person's strength. They're really just there to, you know, showcase how much they mess up with, uh, you know, the world government themselves. So it's like, if you do a lot of stuff against the world government, you're going to have a high bounty, but that might not indicate how strong you are. I mean, yeah, if you defeat certain people, you could get it up high, but that's all dependent on whether or not people find out you beat anybody. So, like, you could be, like, really secretive and not have a bounty at all, and people would be like, man, your bounty is really low, or you don't have a bounty at all, and then you could beat them, and they would be surprised, like, how are you this strong? How are you not have a bounty poster? That's because, you know, you don't, you know, tell anybody you have a bounty at all. So, you know, it, that's just something to keep in mind. Well... Well, uh, yeah, Logue Town. It's like Rogue, uh, although, uh, to be fair, that's a general thing. Uh, you see, in, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, One Piece, or, like, in general Japan language, they don't really have an R, like, or is it an L? It's either R or L. They don't really fully have, like, an R, L letter. So, you know, uh, sometimes translators get confused and don't know whether or not it's an all it's an L or an R that they're trying to pronounce or, you know, showcase. So sometimes we end up with things like Zolo, where Zoro's R gets changed to an L. Or Rogue Town, where it's changed from, you know, where it's an R instead of an L. Uh, some of them could be understandable. It's like, okay, well, we don't fully know whether or not this was supposed to be an L or an R. So, you know, that's fine. But some of them are a little bit more egregious. But not from, like, four kids, I will admit. Look up Jerry Bean Man a as a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and you'll understand what I mean by that. But yeah, again, technically speaking, only Luffy has a bounty right now. Only he does. Uh, I'd be surprised. Uh, it, it seems kind of weird that the Marine Captain didn't, like, say, Oh yeah, Zoro, uh, Pirate Hunter Zoro is now with the Straw Hats. Uh, he needs a bounty, too. Like, I'm surprised he didn't do that. Like... Like, he was going to complain and tell people, like, Oh, yeah, we need to put a bounty on this kid. He hit me. And it's like, why not Zoro? Seems kind of weird, but okay. Like, Zoro's the one who, like, started hitting him. So I'm thinking, like, why not? It seems kind of weird. Anyway. But I will say, just as a funny little note, uh, when Luffy's bounty was, or, you know, wanted poster was first shown, um, th like, when Luffy was showing it off to everybody, or, you know, when he found it and said, like, Oh, look, it's me. It turns out that Usopp was also in the picture, but only in the background, and it was the back of his head. It, it, that, that whole sequence was pretty funny. It's like, hey, look, I'm on there, too. And it's like, wait, where are you? You're not on here. It's like, no, look, right there. It's like, that's just the back of your head. <laughs> uh, so... Uh... Well, it's where he was executed. Not beheaded or anything, just stabbed through the heart with some long spears, apparently. And then that one guy, that one guy, the entire crowd, just had to poke the bee's nest. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, like, Rogers, I'm pretty sure, like, Gold would have, oh, I'm sorry, Gold. I'm pretty sure, uh, like, you know, Roger himself would have stated, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mess with the entire world and say, though, my thing that I left all my treasure at one place or, you know, something, the one piece, go and look for it. But seriously, there was this one person in the crowd who shouted out like, Hey, Roger, where'd you leave all your treasure? And then like Roger's like, this is a perfect moment to do this. Uh, I left it all in one place and you'll just have to find it. The one piece. Uh, 
Pretty sure, like, the Marines might have done something terrible to that guy. <laughs> Ugh. I know, I know, like, from what I remember from what they do do to, like, certain other things, it's very much likely they did. Yeah, Luffy decided to go off to the platform in which Roger was killed, and he decided to climb up on it, even though he shouldn't. You know, because that's just how Luffy do. And to be fair, that that, that makes way too much sense. Ugh. Yeah, get down from there, you punk! <laughs> Yeah, Luffy, you might want to get down. Maybe you'll just get a small, like, slap on the wrist. You'll just get a wrist slap, a light wrist slapping. Probably. Ah, could you tell who that is? Yep, this is who we're fighting against. Buggy and his mysterious iron... <laughs> Iron club wielding female friend. I wonder who she could be. <laughs> oh, just buggy. I'm actually surprised you remember him. Like, oh, it's just, oh, it's just buggy. Like, wait, did he forget him or no? Because it's like, oh, oh, wait, you're just buggy. <laughs> I find that funny. It's like, oh, it's just buggy. Oh, I, like, that's also another reaction he has to him later on. Because, yes, Buggy returns again. But we'll get to that when we get to that. There's a little bit more to this, like a little bit more of a song and dance to this whole situation. But, you know, we have to cut out a few parts of the whole uh, situation from Log, uh, from Logtown. Or L Rau Rogue? Rogue? Log? Logtown. I, I can never pronounce it correctly. Because, like, in Logtown, like, the group gets some slight upgrades. Like, Usopp gets the goggles that he has on his head now. Uh, he didn't have those the entire time. He got those here. And Nami and uh, Usopp, I think, just get, uh, you know, s uh, equipment and food. Well, Sanji gets food. And then Zoro actually gets new swords. Because he, uh, you know, when uh, Mihawk broke his swords, uh, he needed to get new ones. And you may be thinking, wait, then how do you have two s uh two swords in Arlong Park. Well, kind of simply, he borrowed two swords from uh, Yozuku and Johnny. But uh, he does that later on. Uh, 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 you know, it's game mechanics that he needed two swords, so it's like, oh, just pick up two, like, regular katanas. <laughs> but no, uh, Zoro uh, actually bought, or at least uh, obtained two new swords in this town. Uh... Two, one of them is kind of cursed, <laughs> actually. So, actually, and I mean that like serious, like seriously. It's an actual cursed sword that brings bad luck to people. And considering what Zoro has been put through, I could believe it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, after U uh, Luffy meets up with, uh, you know, uh, does this, he ends up, uh, uh, you know, just meeting the female of, uh, you know, that was next to Buggy a few seconds ago. And, uh, might as well say it. I, th I think they might say it later, but that's Alvita. The first pirate that technically Luffy sort of fought against with Kobe. She ate a, a devil fruit that's called the Slip Slip Fruit that makes her slippery. Like, sort of like just literally, just literally slippery. And, uh, the reason why she got so thin was because all the fat on her slipped off. And, uh, also her freckles, actually. She actually lost her freckles, apparently. Yeah, that, that's the reason why she's thin and uh, sexy now. <laughs> look, look, I'm, I'm not going to claim Oda doesn't try to draw people sexy. It's just that he tries his best to try and draw everyone in different body types. But he does draw his female sexier, tries to. <laughs> like, it depends. It, like, depending on how he draws them, some people might be turned off by the fact that Nami and some of the other female characters have really long legs and thin waists. And you know what? Sometimes it can look a little weird, but it's not its not that bad. <laughs> at least I don't think so. I've gotten used to it, at least. Uh. 
So yeah, the uh, buggy decided to trap Luffy and then is planning to just kill him on the same spot here. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, and while Zoro was getting a uh, new sword, his new swords, like two of them, he met up with uh, Tashigi, and she did not know he was a pirate at the time, and she helped him find some swords, or at least she interacted with him. And uh, he tried to... Th there was a small little misadventure with them, but mostly the thing about like Zoro and Tashigi's relationship is that Zoro, like... Um, Notices that she looks a little bit like a friend of his. Uh, like his old childhood friend that he promised to be, like, the world's greatest swordsman to. Or, you know, promised one of them would be. So, uh, that that's the connection between the two. Just to say, if they ever talk about that. And Smoker, who he's a Devil Fruit user with a very special power. I'm sure he's going to explain it later. Smoker, the White Hunter. <laughs> Oh, God, like, I'm just reminded of the whole situation with, uh, like, the four kids dub of what they did with this character. Because, as you can tell, he's a raging smokeaholic. He has a lot of cigars. He even has cigars on his, like, left show, like, his left arm as, like, a weird bandolo thing. Or bandolier? Is that what, is that what those type of things are called? Or what I'm comparing it to? He has a lot of smoke to him, and that is in due to his powers. Like, I know he's trying to put his arm through the, the sleeve and all, but it looks really weird. It looks like, oh, his arm is <laughs> only halfway. It's like, oh, I only have half arm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, in the 4Kids dub, they had to censor out all his smoking. So, they said that what he had was steam instead. Like, oh, his power is steam instead. Instead of smoking. And, you know, he didn't smoke at all, apparently. He just had a permanent grimace. Or maybe they replaced it with something. I forgot what they replaced his cigarette, his cigars with. But, yeah. And they also changed his name from Smoker to Chaser. And you know what? That's fair. That, that's a fair change. <laughs> Like, uh, from Smoker to Chaser, because he chases people. <laughs> okay, the okay the White Hound, did it say? I, I forgot what it said. The White Dog or something like that, whatever. <laughs> uh, man, Tashigi. You, you try your best. You really do. I feel bad for this character more than actually, like, uh, have a strong feeling of, like, whether or not it's, like, liking or dislike. Like, I don't dislike her. I just feel bad overall. It's, like... <laughs> It's like watching a puppy try to, like, hang with the big dogs, literally. And at certain moments, she does her best, but, ugh, man. <laughs> uh. Yeah, don't worry. It'll be fine. You haven't died throughout the series yet, so... Well, about that. And no, I don't mean he literally did that once, no. I'm talking about, well, there's a first time for everything. So you may be thinking, is Smoker going to save him? <laughs> Let me go. By the way, that's going to be Luffy's catchphrase, by the way, if you couldn't tell from all this. Don't worry, like, Zoro and Luffy are here to save him. Hey, we at least have someone to deal with you. Yeah, see? Alveda. So, yeah, is Smoker gonna save Luffy? <laughs> That's technically important, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I always laugh at this situation. It's like, oh boy. Um... Okay, yep, you're alive. Yep, I 
Huh, I wonder how you survived that lightning strike. <laughs> oh man, that 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 like reaction thing of those two is always great. But yeah, those are the new swords Zoro Zor got. Run away! <laughs> okay, yeah, by the way, the reason why Smoker went like waves, he smiled. You see, the thing about like um, Luffy is that his name is Monkey D. Luffy and that D is important, but Luffy just literally smiled. He did not expect like the lightning strike to happen. He was willing to die with a smile on his face. And that's exactly the same thing that happened with Rogers. He died with a smile on his face. And while, you know, sm dying with a smile on your face isn't too important or isn't too uncommon for certain people, it mostly in the One Piece world. There's some people who aren't specifically important that have that have those moments of oh i'm smiling before i die but it's important to luffy uh specifically the d thing which i might explain later if i get the chance i don't know but i won't talk about it now but yeah luffy got extremely lucky that uh the lightning strike hit him and uh you know stopped the execution definitely lucky I mean, you saw the storm clouds. It was definitely lucky. Mm. <laughs> okay, I might not be holding it. Like, what do you call it? Okay, I might not be, like, very well doing it well. Okay, okay. I might not be hiding it very well. But there's a reason why that lightning struck and helped Luffy, okay? But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. First, let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, okay. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, let's see. Let's try and build up L Usopp's thingy because it should be help pretty. It should help me pretty well. I'm not sure why we can't play it. Oh, well, sort of. Like, uh, like you may be thinking. Oh, well, obviously, you're not able to play as Nami for this level because in the manga and anime, she and Usopp, you know, were not near this platform. It was just, uh, you know, Luffy, Usopp, and uh, Zoro who were available at the moment. You would think that. You would think that would be the case. Like, they were trying to be faithful. But, like you saw before, you could still play as Usopp, so it's like... So it's like, um... It's like, why couldn't you let, allow us to play as Nami right now? It's like, eh, it seems kind of weird, but... Eh, I guess it kind of doesn't matter, I guess. Nice! Nice, Zoro. Good job. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. I don't know whether or not they're going to explain this or not, but Smoker has the ability of a Devil Fruit, which allows him to turn himself into... Literal smoke. I do want to mention that because that's specifically important. And uh, you see, each Devil Fruit has three types, although there's some with special indications here and there. But mostly, it's uh, separated into three type, three types: Paramecia, Logia, and uh, 
Zone, yeah, zone types. Zone types allow users to turn into animals or hybrid animals, depending. Like, you know, allows them to turn into an animal, a full animal, a half hybrid animal form, and a, um, and a, uh, and their regular human forms. Permesia types are super powered esque fruits like Luffy's, where it's like, oh, it turned his whole body into rubber or miscellaneous stuff. Or Buggy, who's able to separate his body parts. You know, that type of thing. Uh, and Logias are the ones that allow uh, individuals to turn into elements, like turning into fire, or in Smoker's case, literally being able to turn into smoke. So that's very interesting. So that's kind of difficult for Luffy since he can't deal with a, you know, Logia type Devil Fruit user yet. At least not in this, you know, point in the story. See? There it is. The plume plume fruit. The end of some bad luck. Hmm, I'm wondering... You, you could say that. Uh, th there's a reason for this, and it's a person. Uh, well, sort of. It's hinted at it's a person. But, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. 